All right, all right, all right. Let's move on uh, with our tag selectors. I'm going to teach you another CSS property. First of all, though, I want to clean this up. There's no point having the two H1s here. Now that you understand uh, how uh, tag selectors work, so we'll save that, refresh. Okay, so we're cool. Of course, blue and green clash. So let's make this uh, orange. I just prefer orange. Okay, that's better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to learn about a new CSS property. Let me just apply it to this second headline here. That's the H2, which is uh, right here. And we're going to say text align center. So we're going to center this text now because it says text dash align center. So again, this is your, uh, this is a CSS property. This is the value. Remember between the CSS property and the value, you have to have this colon, right? And in between property value pairs, property value and the pair, you have to have a semicolon separates them. Otherwise, the web browser will get confused about your CSS. This semicolon, this separator that separates your uh, property value pairs, it's kind of like a period at an end of a sentence. Just think of it that way. Anyway, so now we're saying this text align center. I'll hit save, refresh. It aligns the text in the center. We could also align it to the right. Boom, there it is, right. And we could align, align it left, but guess what? Left is the default value, right? Remember default values? It's the automatic setting that the web browser will apply to uh, the H2 tags. Well, all the H tags, all the text tags, the H tags, headers one through six, the P tags, everything's aligned to the left. That's just the default. Finally, let's learn another CSS property. So we'll do it down here. So it's going to be font. Let's do font weight. So let's set it to bold. So let's see what happens. So this is applied to the paragraphs in our page. So we have two paragraphs. This one here, this one down here. So let's see what happens. Boom. You see our text goes bold. Not bad. Let's see if we go bolder, even, even more bold. Eh, it doesn't do anything in the browser. See, sometimes CSS will work in one browser and it won't work in another. You're going to learn about this later on in the course. Most of the time you're okay, but once in a while you get this kind of thing where it goes, you go, what? Why isn't it going bolder? Anyway, so there's another way you can set font weight in numbers. So let's set it to 100, right? Let's set it to 600. See, it's even bolder. Let's set it to 900, see if that makes a difference. No, it doesn't. So in the CSS specification, if you remember, I talked about the W3C in the beginner's HTML course. This is the, uh, the organization, the bunch of nerds who get together who set the rules for CSS and HTML and JavaScript. Anyway, for font weight, you can set it to bold, bolder. You can set it from 100 to 900, but the browsers don't necessarily follow it perfectly. Do I set it to 100? Font weight 100, font weight 600. Eh, didn't do too much. So we'll just set it to 100. Save that. It makes it uh, not bold. So you're getting the idea. A lot of times when you're working with CSS, you're going to have to tinker around with it a little bit because different browsers will do things slightly differently. But we'll learn all about that later on in the course. So we've learned a little bit more. You guys are now becoming experts at CSS tag selectors. You understand CSS properties and values and how to create a proper CSS block or to say it properly, a CSS declaration block.